Hello everyone, thank you for joining me. I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm, uh, okay, so we're annexing Kiev. Up here we're at, uh, 33%. It's gonna take a long time, because we're one-third of the way through, and we've been doing it for 1,600 days, so... That's gonna take a long time for these, uh, two, four, six, eight provinces. It's only 727 dip. just takes forever and then we'll get access to Kiev specifically that uh, that river system should connect us with these provinces that we're about to conquer and then I'll probably do a like a road network coming this way this way and this way and then I'll be uh, connected with a river system all through our country so we should be pretty good in that regard that'll help reduce the uh, autonomy up here in these provinces which the autonomy over here is pretty good actually and we're, that's kind of far away from our capital because of that river so I have uh, good uh, good hopes for this area over here and this area is already decreasing now and there is a uh, our vassal owns part of that uh, river connection so once we annex Mazovia after annexing Kiev then that'll complete that, uh... It won't complete the circuit, because we're not gonna have Silesian provinces right here. But, uh, it'll link us up with these provinces in that river system. My heir right now is a 300, so I definitely don't want that guy to inherit my, uh, throne. So I'm gonna go ahead and disinherit him right now try for a better guy and then uh, I'm gonna attack Bryansk because Bryansk did a support independence they did an independence war supported by the Teutonic Order the Teutonic Order took some of Lithuania's territory Bryansk took most of Lithuania's territory weirdly enough I think Bryansk turned into a rebellious division instead of getting their independence So if I attack Lithuania, Bryansk wouldn't join. If I attack Bryansk, Lithuania will join. It's kind of weird. I'm going to call in Novgorod. I'll give them a couple of territories over here. If, uh, if I have extra war score for that, call in Lithuania. They're just allied with Cyprus. Go ahead and okay these guys aren't in the war because i didn't attack lithuania so let's go ahead and do we'll attack those troops those guys can sit in bulgaria's capital He comes up there. I reduced the automatic investment. I think I'm going to get rid of that actually because it messed my country up. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that off for now at least. Because that led to overinvestment, which ruined my uh, property income. Alright, Novgorod has given those provinces to us, so that is good. Novgorod wants these three provinces from Bryansk. I want this province as well, but I don't want these, so... I might end up just giving them this province, because it's not part of the river system. And it's not a particularly good province, so if they end up with that province. That is what it is. Alright, we yeah, we can go ahead and loot those guys. Bulgaria's been having some problems with uh, their economy. They've sold some provinces to Rome. I think they sold 
this province and this province to Rome. That was not me taking provinces from them, that was them just selling their provinces to Rome. Which I did have a hand in, because I, uh... I'm the one that forced them into, uh... Losing money. We can send these troops up here. We'll go ahead and spare those guys, because I want that province. I'm using 14 ducats now. They went ahead and claimed that province. So potentially after this war, uh, Lithuania will be gone. That'll just leave, uh, Poland has one province over here, which they can get wiped out pretty easily. I can't do it. Muscovy would have to do that, but, uh, just one province. If they enter coalition, who cares? Negative 77 with, them, um, 64. And then that just pretty much is the Teutonic Order and Bohemia, then, that would join a potential coalition, and I'm not afraid of either of those guys, so... Send these guys to Bryansk. Actually, they can go there, they can go there, they can go there. The AI, uh, it got some real problems with, uh, fort defense. Their provinces just fall so fast. And I don't want Bryansk, so I'm going to go ahead and loot that province. Nineteen day siege. Too quick. Okay, I don't want any of those provinces. Okay, unfortunately, there's a Lithuanian province here, so I could piece out uh, Lithuania separately in order to get those provinces. Probably just do a piece with them then. Something like this. Then those provinces, that aggressive expansion will be from the, uh, that'll go to Novgorod. Novgorod doesn't really have any aggressive expansion, so they can take those provinces. I'll leave this province there so I could potentially take it in the next war. And uh, this, is a, this is a manageable coalition. Lithuania's gone, Poland's one province, Bohemia, Hylik, Volhilna, and Bryansk. Hylik, Volhilna's one province as well, Bryansk is severely weakened. They can give me ducats. We loot 1,400 ducats. These guys are a rebellious division of Lithuania. Uh, does Lithuania exist anymore? Where's Lithuania? Oh. What? 
Okay, Lithuania exists down here. So, if Crimea conquers them, they might make Bransk become rebellious divisions. These guys got free. Wouldn't want to fight Crimea, but uh, I guess the Timurids... I don't think the Timurids are all that strong. They have a ton of troops, but their tech's also uh, 20. Speaking of which, the world opened up, so I now have access to these provinces. Yeah, the Timurids are conquering North India. I don't think they started with these provinces, so they've been conquering them. They might have actually started with them. They conquered all the way up here, though. It's kind of weird. They've made pretty much everybody in this area their vassal in some sort or another. And then there's Ming over here. Ming, uh... Where's income? Ming makes 2,300 ducats a month. They have 422,000 ducats in their treasury. Ming is unstoppable. They have 594,000 troops. They have 985 ships, 174 heavies. I feel like Ming shouldn't have access to uh, heavies. Seems a little bit OP for them to have heavies. They should really just have junks. Alright, let's make those cores. I'm gonna have those guys drill. Okay, so the potential coalition, actually, yeah, the Teutonic Order, Bohemia, Bransk, Lithuania, Poland, and these guys, Poland, hopefully Poland and Lithuania cease to exist soon, just because it's rather annoying. They're not going to do much, but uh, it's kind of annoying to have those one province countries and coalitions. I have a truce with Bohemia. And I don't have a claim against the Teutonic Order, otherwise I think I would fight them just to get a truce. I need another diplomat, really. There is a noble privilege. It's this one. Open diplomatic service to all courtiers. This gives an extra diplomat. It also reduces yearly corruption, so I feel like that's uh, two bonuses right there. Because our corruption is actually increasing by a lot right now. So that would remove that Sophisticated Emissaries, which is plus 0.25. There's Ambitious Court, plus 0.5. I think that's another... ...privilege. And then there's just a lot of State Corruption, plus 2.56 right there. So that would be a good thing to uh, get rid of. Hey, we're discovering Africa. I think there's been a lot of colonization because 
England has uh, English Cuba, Haiti, Mexico, New England, Guyana, and New Kernow. And Spain has Cuba, Brazil, Granada, and Cast New Castile. Portugal has Portuguese Haiti, Colombia, and New Portugal. France is not doing anything. Now there is the uh, Netherlands, United Provinces. But the other countries have, uh, I think, pretty significant uh, New World holdings. Generally, in my experience, the AI doesn't really uh, get a whole lot of colonies by uh, this time, so I think they bumped that up, actually. Try to get them to uh, colonize faster. I think what I'll do next is attack Crimea. Then I'll call them the Timurids, but uh, I think I can fight them. Who's Brittany at war with? Banu Khalid and Banu... Okay, African powers. I don't know why they're... Uh, they must be allied to somebody over there. England. Nope, they're just... Uh, they're conquering. Okay... Don't know where that is. Somewhere over here. That's kind of weird. Let's see. My force limit is 25. I'm going to get a couple extra troops. Let's do that. Hopefully I can get an air soon. Alright, a little bit of a time skip here. I'm going to attack Crimea, get into a position to do that. There's uh, two CBs. This one, Conquest, is 110% aggressive expansion. The expansion East CB is 20% aggressive expansion. So I'm going to go ahead and do that one. I'm going to do it for Kharkov. Because there's this fort, and then there's a fort down in Copa. That's the only forts that Crimea owns. And both of those provinces are... Uh, this one is Grass Hills, and this one is Marsh. So those are good provinces to fight the Timurids in. Uh, I could call in these guys. Mm. How much favors do I have with them? 42, 28. I'll call him Muscovy. Rome's kind of a failed state, so I don't want to call them in more than I have to. Let's do Kharkov, Muscovy. And then I'll make a break for their capital. Try to grab that as soon as we can. That's where I want to do fighting, if possible. We're fighting a lot of people here. Uh, 145, 160, 3,000 people. Go ahead and do light looting. Alright, they're gonna get stack wiped right there. What is that? Is that hills? No. Okay, they they stand a chance. It's hills. It's uh woods. Tech twenty five versus tech nineteen. A six zero versus a two three. And they got stack wiped. So none of that mattered. Hey, we have a three five a three four five. We'll name her uh, Maria after 
Maria Theresa, which is an Austrian ruler. So that makes no sense. Hey, did I say you could attack that? The Timurids just embraced something. What did they just embrace? I should really look at those things. They embraced commercialization. Sometimes, I'd, especially in Crusader Kings, when I see pop-ups, I've memorized the pictures, so I just click out of them as soon as I can because I can recognize instantly whether or not it's important. Most of the time, it's not important. So I don't really even look at the country, I just see commer they've embraced commercialization. It's like, alright, it's probably nobody. Nobody important. I'm gonna send this stack to do some scouting. I don't know, because I want to take Copa, but I don't want like a 50k Timurid stack to show up before I take it. Should fall soon, actually. There's a 20, okay, there's a 29k Timurid stack. Which is exactly what I didn't want to have happen. But we won anyway. Yeah, I didn't expect the Timurid stack to come this way. Looks like there's a lot of people up in uh, Muscovy. There's a 43k Timurid stack. I do that with battles too, I don't really look at it. Because I see stack wipe and I'm just like, okay. It's a stack wipe. That's all I need to know. Uh, I'm gonna end this part and uh, pick it up in the next part. So, thank you for watching, we'll continue this war. And uh, go from there, so... Goodbye.